Welcome to the 2022 Global 16 Days Campaign. This year, we are continuing our theme of ending femicide. My name is Patricia Mutabani. I am from South Africa, Johannesburg in Soweto. On the 13th of May in 2007, my daughter Mudiri Sikedi Mutaban was murdered by her boyfriend by strangulation. He then stuffed her body inside the boot of her own car and drove the car to the forest. He then hanged himself. So what exactly is femicide? Femicide is the intentional killing of women or girls because of their sex or gender. Femicide comes in different forms. It can be direct, such as intimate partner violence or the targeting of women workers, or indirect, such as maternal mortality or neglect from families, communities, or the state that then leads to death. And it can happen in both the public and private spheres. So why are we focusing on femicide again? This year, we are continuing the Global 16 Days campaign's 2021 to 2022 anniversary theme of ending femicide, since there is an urgency around this issue, as around the world, a woman is killed every 11 minutes by a family member. In fact, the issue of violence against women has exacerbated during the COVID-19 pandemic. Oftentimes, perpetrators of femicide are given impunity and walk free, so governments must be held accountable for protecting women and sticking to the promises that they have made to guard women's rights. This year, we are focusing on women who are in situations of heightened vulnerability to femicide. Examples of these women include indigenous women, black women, women with disabilities, women living under extreme fundamentalism, and women workers. These are just some of the vulnerable groups. Women can face lethal violence due to their sexual identity, gender, race, ethnicity, age, or immigration status, among other factors. We are also continuing our call for an international day to end femicide. This day will not only amplify awareness of the prevalence of the issue, but it will encourage governments to take more direct action while uniting movements around the world. If you haven't already, go to change.org slash end femicide to sign the petition to declare this day today. What else can you do? You can take action by advocating for the creation of femicide observatories that will gather comparable data on all types of the crime. You can also take action by asking your elected officials and leaders to take care not to push back on or reverse progress that has already been made, and you can spread the word about this issue. You can also follow at 16 Days Campaign on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to receive updates, advocacy materials, and social media tools that will be released in the upcoming months. Remember that a world without violence is possible, so together, let's end femicide.